The cataclysmic pole shift hypothesis is a scientific claim that there have been relatively recent geologically rapid shifts in Earth's axis of rotation, resulting in natural disasters such as floods, tectonic events, and relatively rapid climate changes. Around 41,500 years ago, Earth underwent a geomagnetic pole reversal, a phenomenon where the magnetic north and south poles switch places. This event had significant consequences for the planet, affecting various aspects of the environment, including the appearance of auroras and alterations in weather patterns. The magnetic north pole, which your compass needle points to, does not have a permanent location. Instead, it typically wobbles over time near the geographic north pole, the point around which the Earth spins, due to movements within the Earth's core. During a pole reversal, the Earth's magnetic field weakens, leading to increased exposure to cosmic and solar radiation. This has implications for the extinction of the Neanderthals, as well as the evolution of blue eyes in modern Europeans, as will be discussed at the end of the video. The climate record indicates that the magnetic field began to decline 42,350 years ago and reached its lowest point 41,800 years ago, 300 years before the actual pole flip. Thus, the weakened magnetic field at the time served as a precursor to the flip rather than an impact of the poles swapping places. Meanwhile, in another study, scientists estimated the extinction of the Neanderthal at 41,227 years ago, with a standard deviation of 219 years. One noticeable effect for humans living at the time, including Neanderthals, would have been the spectacular display of auroras. These shimmering lights, typically confined to polar regions, might have been visible at lower latitudes due to the weakened magnetic field during the reversal. Neanderthals, with their keen observational skills, would have witnessed these awe-inspiring lights in the night sky. The vibrant colors and dancing patterns of the auroras might have been both fascinating and perplexing to these early humans, influencing their cultural narratives and possibly even inspiring myths and legends. Apart from the mesmerizing auroras, the pole reversal could have triggered changes in weather patterns. The altered magnetic field might have influenced atmospheric circulation, leading to shifts in climate and weather phenomena. It should be noted that analyses of Campanian ignimbrite crypto tephra from archaeological sites in Eastern Europe revealed that the eruption the Italian volcano occurred after the Middle Paleolithic and Mousterian tool industries had ended, and thus after Neanderthal's extinction. The tephra overlies the pole reversal in Black Sea sediment cores, indicating that the eruption occurred after this event. Nevertheless, it is possible that the pole reversal may have helped to trigger this eruption. In other words, the Neanderthals were extinct before this eruption 39,300 years ago. But the echoes of their existence can still be heard across the epochs, waiting to be discovered by those who delve into the depths of history. Spikes in radiocarbon indicated that the magnetic field had weakened to about 6% of its current strength by 41,500 years ago. At that point the poles flipped, and the field regained some strength before crashing and flipping again 500 years later. Not only was Earth's cosmic ray shield shut down, but so was the Sun's. Ice core evidence suggests that around this time the Sun was experiencing several grand minima, episodes of low magnetic activity. To investigate the implications, the scientific team ran a climate model which predicted that cosmic ray bombardment would have eroded the ozone layer, reducing the heat it normally captures from ultraviolet rays. The high altitude cooling would have altered wind patterns, potentially resulting in drastic changes on the ground, including unpredictable weather patterns. Neanderthals, adapted to the prevailing environmental conditions, could have faced challenges in adjusting to the new climatic patterns affecting their hunting and foraging strategies. However, the pole reversal itself is unlikely to have directly caused the extinction of the Neanderthals. Instead, some researchers propose a more indirect mechanism involving increased exposure to ultraviolet radiation. With the weakening of the magnetic field during a pole reversal, there is a reduction in the shielding it provides against cosmic and solar radiation, including harmful UV rays. Lighter-skinned Neanderthals adapted to their specific environmental niche, may have struggled to cope with elevated levels of UV radiation. 
prolonged exposure to these high-energy rays could have had detrimental effects on their health, causing skin damage, reducing fertility rates, and compromising their overall health. This increased vulnerability to environmental stresses might have contributed to their decline and eventual extinction, but also led to some favorable genetic mutations that may have helped Homo sapiens conquer the North. While the pole reversal itself played a role in shaping the environmental backdrop of the time, it is crucial to consider the cumulative impact of various factors, including changes in climate, vegetation, and exposure to radiation. The extinction of the Neanderthals remains a complex puzzle, and the interplay of these factors likely played a part in their eventual disappearance from the Earth. In fact, 42,000 years ago, the world experienced several centuries of truly apocalyptic conditions caused by the reversal of the Earth's magnetic poles and changes in the Sun's behavior. This is the key finding of a recent multidisciplinary study published in Science. Shockingly, this major geomagnetic reversal set off a chain of dramatic events with far-reaching consequences for our planet. The story reads like a horror movie plot. The ozone layer was destroyed, electrical storms raged across the tropics, solar winds produced spectacular light shows, arctic air poured across North America, ice sheets and glaciers erupted, and weather patterns shifted dramatically. As mentioned, during these events, life on Earth was exposed to intense ultraviolet light. Neanderthals and giant animals known as megafauna became extinct, while humans sought refuge in caves. With no magnetic field, our planet lost its very effective shield against cosmic radiation, allowing many more of these extremely penetrating particles from space to enter the upper atmosphere. Furthermore, the Sun went through several grand solar minima during this time, when overall solar activity was lower but more unstable, resulting in numerous massive solar flares that allowed more powerful ionizing cosmic rays to reach Earth. The models demonstrate that the combination of factors had an amplifying effect. High-energy cosmic rays from the galaxy, as well as massive bursts of cosmic rays from solar flares, were able to penetrate the upper atmosphere, charging air particles and causing chemical changes that contributed to stratospheric ozone loss. According to the study, the modeled chemistry climate simulations correspond to environmental shifts observed in many natural climate and environmental archives, such as petrified trees and ice cores. These conditions would have also extended the aurora's dazzling light displays around the world, with nights sometimes as bright as daytime. Scientists believe the dramatic changes and unprecedentedly high UV levels must have felt like the end of the world. The aforementioned study, published in the journal Reviews of Geophysics, entitled The Role of Geomagnetic Field Intensity in Late Quaternary Evolution of Humans and Large Mammals, linked changes in Earth's geomagnetic field to the evolution and extinction of mammals. The study is claiming that periods when the field weakens appear to correlate with global extinction episodes. According to the study, the extinction of Neanderthals and large mammals that occurred 42,000 years ago coincided with a weakened geomagnetic field that reduced ultraviolet radiation protection. Indeed, ultraviolet radiation had a significant influence on mammal evolution. Modern humans, unlike Neanderthals, may have survived the prolonged UV radiation due to a genetic difference that better protected them from UVR. Scientists already knew that a protein known as the aryl hydrocarbon receptor differed between early modern humans and Neanderthals but they hypothesized that the difference made Neanderthals more vulnerable to environmental stresses. The study links different variants in Neanderthals and modern humans to varying UVR tolerance, as well as Neanderthal decline to weakened magnetic fields and subsequent UVR exposure. As a result of their lack of UV radiation protection, lighter-skinned Neanderthals and possibly northern Denisovans became extinct. Meanwhile, Homo sapiens' habitat range expanded as a result of genetic mutations that occurred around 40,000 years ago, allowing Eurasian Homo sapiens to reduce melanin production, develop lighter skin, and synthesize vitamin D in higher latitudes with less solar radiation. One recent study on skin color genes reveals that some genes for lighter skin have existed for nearly a million years, implying that hominins in the Northern Hemisphere had lighter skin than those in the Southern Hemisphere, as do humans today. In fact, 
Through the analysis of ancient DNA, a recent study published in the journal Experimental Dermatology suggested that the common gene for blue eye color likely originated in the Near East and arrived in Europe around 42,000 years ago. There is evidence that as many as 16 different genes could be responsible for eye color in humans, but the main two genes associated with eye color variation are OCA, 2L, and HERC2, and both are localized in chromosome 15. Did blue eyes confer a survival benefit during this critical time? Could this genetic mutation have occurred during the high radiation event of the pole reversal? A specific mutation within the HEARC2 gene, a gene that regulates OCA2 expression, is partly responsible for blue eyes. However, recent test results indicate that both light and dark alleles at OCA2 and HERC2 have been segregating in the hominin lineage for hundreds of thousands of years. The simplified explanation is that the OCA2 gene controls pigment in the stroma, the tissue and blood vessels, of the iris, the coloured part of the eye around the pupil, and the HERC2 gene is needed to help turn on the OCA2 gene to cause it to produce this pigment, resulting in brown eyes. Therefore, the most likely scenario is that blue eyes were a side effect of a gene for lighter skin pigmentation, and blue eyes were then sexually selected by females in some regions. Indeed, men with blue eyes may have been seen as exotic, sophisticated supermen of sorts who possessed magical powers. One can imagine a group of blue-eyed hunter-gatherers travelling from tribe to tribe during this pole reversal, who would have been seen as gods by brown-eyed Homo sapiens women. As discussed, the Earth's magnetic field weakened to less than 6% of its normal strength, so there was almost no magnetic field at all. Our cosmic radiation shield was completely gone. According to these scientists, the skies would have been illuminated by widespread auroras as a result of the magnetic reversal 42,000 years ago, which contributed to earthly extinctions. These scientists believe the reversal could help explain evolutionary mysteries like the extinction of Neanderthals. The results of the reversal were dramatic. Solar flares and galactic cosmic rays ripped apart particles in Earth's atmosphere, ionizing the air and depleting the ozone layer. Our forefathers would have witnessed incredible light displays across the sky both day and night. Aurora, which are normally limited to the polar regions, would have spread throughout the world. Furthermore, the ionized air would have made an excellent conductor for electrical storms, increasing their frequency. The cosmic ray assault charged the atmosphere to the point where it would have knocked out today's power grid and caused aurora in the subtropics. The turbulence overhead, combined with the loss of UV protection from the ozone layer, may also explain the sudden emergence of cave art as early humans sought refuge in caves for protection. According to Science magazine, the world experienced a magnetic upheaval. El Castillo Cave in Spain contains the oldest known cave art in Europe, dating back approximately 42,000 years. These red handprints may be related to an ancient type of sunscreen and may have been left to pass a warning on from the ancient past. Remember, Every discovery is a step on the path to knowledge as we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past. This story is a testament to the importance of skepticism, of questioning, and of not accepting things at face value, even in the world of science. It's a story of how a single discovery can shake the foundations of our understanding of human evolution. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our shared human history. Until next time, stay curious and stay questioning. And please subscribe, share and explore our channel's other highly compelling videos.